Hello and welcome to this step-by-step -step demo on how to install and use Minikube. I am Raghav and you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session we are going to go very basic. You can install and use Minikube on Mac, Windows and Linux operating systems. In this session I am going to use Mac and I will go step-by-step. I will also show you on Windows and Linux in the coming sessions. However, if you are using Windows and Linux, you can still watch this so that you will come to know a lot of information about Minikube and a lot of commands that we use. So in this session, I am going to go very basic from scratch step by step and we will see how to install Minikube on Mac operating system, how to start Minikube and then how to run Kubernetes via Minikube. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting. These are some commands that we will see and run and learn during this session. Now do not worry if you have no, no familiarity with any of these commands and if you have no prior knowledge on Minikube, I am going to start from scratch and by the end of this session you will know all these commands and everything about Minikube. So let's get started. Now on my screen you will see there is a there are two sections. On the left side you can see the steps and on the right side you can see the commands so that it is very easy for you to follow. You will also find all the commands, all the notes and all the references in the description section below this video so you can check the notes there. The first step is we have to install kubectl. We have already seen in our earlier sessions that kubectl is a command line tool that helps us to interact with Kubernetes cluster. Now, even before we do that, a prerequisite is virtualization should be supported on your system. Now if I go to Google and search for how to install Minikube, we will get a guide for reference and you can see this one. Now this is coming from Kubernetes official documentation and if I go to this link, you can see all the notes and all the information on how to install Minikube. So before we begin, you can see for Linux, Mac and Windows, for Mac we have to check if virtualization is supported and this is the command, you can just copy this command and go to your terminal. I am pressing command spacebar to get the spotlight and I will search terminal and this is here and then I will run the command and press enter. Now in the output if you see VMX that means this is all fine, this is set up. Just in case you do not see the output, you can go to Google and search for how to enable virtualization VMX on Mac and you will get a lot of links that you can take help from. However, most of the cases you will have this already set up. So this was a prerequisite. Now we will start our Minikube installation and for that the first thing is we have to install and set up kubectl. You can also see here is a link that you can check. If I go to this link, you will see all the options for kubectl installation. So on Linux, on Windows and on Mac. Let me first go for Mac. You can see here. Now there are multiple ways. You can use cURL or you can do all this or you can just use homebrew. So I believe you know homebrew. Homebrew is used to install and manage packages on Mac. So if I go to homebrew, so this is the site homebrew.sh and here you can see the missing package manager for Mac OS and here in case you do not have it, if you can just say brew version and let me say brew minus v and you will see the homebrew version on your system in case you do not have this then you can just run this command you can copy this and run on your terminal and you will have homebrew and with homebrew now you can install and manage other packages so this is very straightforward if you are using mac homebrew will be very useful and that is what i am going to use i already have homebrew and now i can just say brew install kubectl that is the first command here. So I will go to my terminal, I will clear the terminal and now I will say brew install kubectl and before I show you this let me also show you some other commands. You can say brew list, this will show you the list of packages already installed via homebrew. 
you can also say brew cask list now brew cask is an extension to brew which will which manages the gui packages so the gui libraries and packages you can see in my case it is android and virtual box you can say brew outdated and this will show you all the packages that needs upgrades so here you can see for example in my case groovy the version i have is 2.5.6 and the latest is 2.5.9 i can also say brew info and a particular package like groovy it will show me all the information about that package when it was installed where it is installed all the analytics and everything and if i just say brew info without any package it will show me the info about homebrew like how many uh, packages files and size is used by homebrew so now i will say brew install kubectl and this will take care of all the download and installation and that is why we are using homebrew so this will update homebrew and then it will install the kubectl tool you can see it is downloading now and then it will install it so based on the network speed it will take some time mostly it is done within few seconds or a minute and now you can see it is installed if i now i say kubectl version i am getting the details about kubectl here so now we have done step number one we have installed kubectl and we can also check the version with with the command kubectl version so step number one is done now step number two is we have to install a hypervisor like hyperkit or virtual box and here also you can see if i go back to this link for install minikube here next step is install a hypervisor like hyperkit or you can also see virtual box or kvm and here you have some more nodes now if i see in my case if i say brew list in my case i can see we have i don't have any hyperkit or virtual box as of now so if i say brew cask list let me see here okay so i have virtual box so this will work otherwise i can also get hyperkit so uh, for you i will show you how we can install a hypervisor like hyperkit and i will say brew install hyperkit and this will do the setup and installation of hyperkit which is a hypervisor that we need for our mini cube so you can see it is downloading and now it is installing and this is done i can say hyperkit version and let me see here so this is brew install hyperkit and then i can say hyperkit space hyphen b to see the version so i will say hyperkit space hyphen v and i am getting the hyperkit version also if i say brew list i should see hyperkit here as well in the brew packages and hyperkit is here so we are done with step number two install hyperkit and then we have to install minikube and the command is brew install minikube and if i go to the notes here you can see you can install using a package like this you can do a direct download using c url and then you can make these changes otherwise if you are using homebrew like i am using we just have to say brew install minikube and this will also work on linux i believe so let us just say brew install minikube so for linux uh, not all the distributions will have this so that was a mistake but yeah mac you can use homebrew so i am saying brew install minikube and it is doing all the download and setup and this is done so i can now check minikube version and minikube help so i will say minikube version and i'm getting the version and i will say minikube help and i'm getting all the commands for minikube so you can see 
you can say minikube start minikube status minikube stop delete we will see all this and then all these commands are here so we are done with our step number three that is install minikube and now we can start minikube using the minikube start command also if you see here you can also select the driver vm driver however in my case i will just say minikube start and let us see the output you can now see here because i have not given the vm driver so it has automatically selected hyperkit and because i already uh, had virtualbox and i also have virtualbox on my system so it is also showing that an alternative is virtualbox however it has selected hyperkit so which is fine otherwise if you want you can also give the vm driver explicitly using this command so this is now creating the hyperkit and a virtual machine it may take some time because now it is setting up a virtual machine and this command is used to start your cluster it creates and configures a virtual machine that runs a single node kubernetes cluster and it also configures the kubectl to communicate with the cluster we have already seen in the last session on minikube basics what is minikube and why we use it so minikube helps us to configure a virtual machine that runs a single node kubernetes cluster so if i go and check it is now creating hyperkit so minikube a start command may take some time as it is creating a virtual machine and then it will prepare kubernetes and also this virtual machine will have docker pre-installed this also we learned in the theory session we will have docker pre-installed you do not have to uh, install or do any setup of docker separately you can see it is preparing kubernetes this version and on docker this particular version so let's just wait for this to get completed it will also depend on the network speed so most probably within a minute or two this should be done also you can see all these commands and information here so this particular link is going to be very useful I will provide all these links and references in the notes so everything is coming from here so you can now see it is pulling the images and you will have some um, images already present on this virtual machine that you can use for testing we will also see that in the coming steps and now it is saying launching kubernetes so let us just wait for kubernetes to get launched and then we will do the next step So here also you can see minikube version on Darwin and the hyperkit virtual machine you can see it is using uh, two CPUs this is the memory and this is the disk and now you can see it is saying waiting for cluster to come online and now done kubectl is now configured to use minikube so we are done with this step uh, I can say minikube status and it will show me the status host is running kubelet is running API server cube config everything is running so we are done with this step we have started minikube and we can also run minikube status also if I run the kubectl commands like get nodes and get pods if I say kubectl get nodes you can see here we have a master node already present and if I say kubectl get pods as of now we do not have any pods so when we deploy our service we will have the pods and we will have containers in the pods so we are done with all these four steps and now we can now start with running kubernetes cluster via minikube so here step number one will be we will create a kubernetes deployment 
using an existing image in the virtual machine also you can see the notes here once you have done all this now we will see kubernetes uh, delete and stop later you can see this link running kubernetes locally via minikube i will go to this link and here you will see all these steps that i am going to do now we have minikube features that you can read we have already done minikube start installation is done start is done and now we can do this where we are creating a kubernetes deployment using an existing image this is the command which is also present in my notes i will copy it and run on the terminal and you can see hello minikube deployment is created so we have done this step number two is we can expose the deployment as a service on a particular port for example 8080 in this case this again you can get it from here to expose minikube service i will copy this and run this on terminal and you can see this is exposed now if i say cube ctl get pods you can now see we have a pod here and it is in running status so now we have done step number two step number three we can check nodes and pods we have already seen i have checked the pods and nodes we have already done if i say nodes or no will also work you can see the master node is here now we can get the url of the service using this command and this is again present here you can see this command minikube service hello minikube hyphen hyphen url i will copy this and let me clear the terminal and paste it here and run this and you can see this is the link so if i just go to my browser and go to this link you will see the details here so here you can see it says it gives me all the details the host name the pod information request information request headers and everything so we are able to get the url of our service now step number five is we can now delete the service and delete the deployment and the commands are kubectl delete service and the service name and kubectl delete deployment and the deployment name the same thing you will find here so here if i have to delete the service i will just run this and also you can see kubectl get svc which will give us all the details for services or kubectl get services this will this is the same command so you can see the cluster information and everything now i will say kubectl delete service hello minikube and this is deleted if i now say kubectl get services you can see we don't have the minikube service now similarly i can delete the deployment hello minikube using the kubectl delete deployment command and this will delete the deployment if i now say kubectl get pods you can see it is now in the terminating status so we have deleted the service and the deployment now we can stop minikube using minikube stop command and delete minikube cluster using minikube delete command so i will say minikube stop and you can see it is saying stopping minikube in hyperkit and now if i say minikube status you can see it is stopped and i can also say minikube delete and this will delete delete the minikube in hyperkit and you can see this is done so we are able to delete minikube also if you want to uninstall you can just say brew uninstall minikube so that it will uninstall it from your system similarly you can uninstall hyperkit and kubectl using brew uninstall commands and that is why brew is so helpful so this is how you can set up minikube and use minikube on your system i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching